Hey guys, welcome to another channel review. Today I'm going to try one of these Good & Gather microwavable roasted vegetable traditional crust pizzas. Um, this is made with red sauce, mozzarella cheese, roasted bell peppers, tomatoes, and onions. No artificial preservatives. Microwavable in three and a half minutes. Made with real cheese. Mini pizza. 7.75 ounces or 220 grams. Good & Gather is a Target brand. So we bought it at Target for $3.99. Not too awfully bad for uh, frozen pizza. So it's not too, not too shabby. Um, 270 calories for the pizza. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. 270 calories. There's your other stuff. Whatever you want to see there. So you can put this in the oven if you want to. Um, we don't do ovens, of course, but that, that you can if you want to. For the microwave, we're going to, it says keep frozen until ready to prepare. Pull, pull the tear strip from the side of the carton. Open adjacent sides along perforations. Do not remove top. Remove pizza from the carton and wrapper. Fold back the carton so the silvery surface is face up. Typical microwave pizza. Microwave in high for three to three and a half minutes or until the pizza is cooked through. Um, yeah, so here's the pull tab. So you pull out to loosen it up. You grab this, which you know, grab this and you kind of kind of work your way back. That opened better than some. I'm going to fold this back. Take your pizza out. Fold this back to where it's kind of like a mix a little stage for it. And then there, we're going to put the pizza on there. We're going to take it out of the plastic, of course. So I don't have scissors with me right now. But I'm going to take this out of the plastic, get it on here, put it, probably put it in the oven for, microwave oven for three minutes. Uh, but I'll keep it on and make sure once the pizza, the cheese gets melted in the middle, that's usually when it's done. And I'll be back. I always put it on a paper plate as well because sometimes it likes to run on the sides. The cheese and the sauce does. Not on these sides necessarily, but on these sides. So um, just to keep it from running on the microwave, I always put a paper plate. So I'll be right back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And you can see, aren't you glad I put a paper plate under there? I know I am. Um, see how it ran over the edge and it actually got on the paper plate? That's why we put the paper plate underneath that. Um, and it does that with a lot of these. So that kind of new to do that because I've made a lot of these pizzas. So I'm going to slide this over to this plate. Sometimes it sticks really bad. That one didn't stick too awfully bad. Um, got some crusty pieces of cheese I like. I like the little brown piece of cheese if I can get them over there. So yeah. So I'm going to uh, cut this. So I'm just cut it right here. So it's pretty good to cut. It's not um, super hard, but it would probably would be nicer if it was a little crunchier, a little crisper. It's pretty soft. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and take it over the table and give it a try. I gave it just a, a minute to cool off, really, but it didn't give it much time at all. So I'm just gonna grab this piece at random. It looked like it had plenty of cheese in the middle. That's why I picked it. Should have grabbed a napkin. The crust looks um, brown at the bottom, but it's not really not crispy. It's more has a chewiness to it. So don't expect it to be like crunchy, um, crispy crust. It's not like that. And if you put it in the oven, it probably would be, but just in the microwave, it's not. The flavors are pretty good. I get more, um, a bell pepper than anything, like a, the green and red pepper. I didn't really get a lot of onion, but maybe I just didn't get a bite with onion in it. Yeah, that bite had a little bit more onion in it. Um, if you've ever had vegetables, especially peppers and onions that were frozen and you thawed them out and used them in something like a pizza, um, they sometimes have a watery kind of texture and flavor to them that tastes, that tastes like they're kind of waterlogged. This has that kind of flavor and texture. It's, it's, uh, it's not bad by any means. And if you did it in the oven, it would probably crisp up the vegetables just a little bit in the oven because you know you got direct heat on top. But, um, so in the oven, I can't judge. I can only judge on the microwave. They did give you microwave directions, so they're saying it's okay in the microwave. Um, that being said, I don't think it works well in the microwave. The crust is okay, but the vegetables on top still have a little bit of that soggy feel to them, like they've been frozen, which they were. 
and uh, but they still feel that way they're kind of got that wet kind of texture to them um, and the flavor is not really strong you can taste the peppers and you taste a little bit of the onion but they're not like a really fresh um, you know taste of those vegetables a lot of frozen pizzas have the same problem I'm not saying it's just this one I'm just speaking about this one in particular because that's what it is um, it's not bad the sauce itself is kind of um, tomatoey and that's about it there's not a lot of seasonings like a lot of savory um, pizza type seasonings in there oregano or whatever um, it doesn't taste like there's a lot of seasoning going on in the, in the sauce itself either like the crust the other stuff is just okay so um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five it's not bad it's definitely no worse than any other frozen pizza you get out there that's come as one of these trays but um it's not as good as some other ones i've had some other microwave pizzas that were better so um so this one's just it's a three for me so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching